Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, KB, and today is the last day of Windows 7. Yes, today is January 14th, 2020, and today the Windows 7 is officially dead. So in this video, I want to tell you guys why you should not use Windows 7 anymore. And also gonna tell you the Windows 10 is actually free, how you can get the Windows 10 for free. Yeah. That's it. So I don't want to take a long time because you may have heard the news that Windows 7 is dead. Actually, the news is all over the internet because Windows 7 was the, you know, one of the best operating system. And I'm sure Windows 7 users are really unhappy because Microsoft is no longer supporting the Windows 7, which means you won't be able to get security and maintenance update from Microsoft. The main reason why you should not use Windows 7 anymore is the security. Yes, if you're not getting a security update, your Windows 7 will be weak. If your Windows 7 computer is weak, viruses, hackers, you know, attackers can easily attack your computer. Okay, so that is the main big reason why you should not use the Windows 7. Let me give you a simple human example. I'm a human. If I don't feed myself, I will be weak. I won't be able to defend myself. I won't be able to walk, you know, so this is how it goes. So same thing is happening with the Windows 7. Uh, Windows 7 won't receive any security and maintenance update from Microsoft and uh, one day this will be just a thing like Windows XP. So let me give you another example. So you may have heard or maybe have used a Windows XP. To be honest, I have never used a Windows XP because uh, when I first got my computer, I started from the Windows 7. So in Windows XP, you may have tried, maybe you haven't but let me tell you what happens if you use the windows xp in windows xp you won't be able to use latest software from any company chrome firefox adobe many more you know because microsoft has stopped supporting the windows xp and the other companies have done the same thing they have stopped supporting the Windows XP. So same thing is going to happen with the Windows 7. You know, for one, maybe two or maybe three years, you can still use Windows 7 without a problem. Maybe you can still use the latest softwares from other companies, but the day will come when nobody cares about Windows 7. The day will come when the, you know, latest softwares won't support Windows 7. You won't be able to run latest softwares in Windows 7. So the thing is, latest software means latest security, stronger, you know, the software is getting better and better. So bug fixes and all that kind of stuff. So those things will happen in supported operating system. So let's say for example, Windows 10, because everybody uses the Windows 10 and Windows 10 is also getting a updates regularly. Windows 10 is also you know, getting the security updates and bug fixes and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, the developers, the other software's developers will do the same thing. They will also focus on the latest operating system because the Windows 10 is still alive and it's getting the update. So the other software companies will do the same thing. They will focus on the Windows 10 compatibility and security and all that kind of stuff so they will stop providing the latest version of software to old outdated operating systems such as windows 7 windows xp or any other operating system which doesn't get any security and maintenance update so yeah that's it that's all you have to understand why you should not use the windows 7 anymore security flaws that is the number one thing and second support for the software will decrease time by time maybe for a few years you can still use the windows 7 but you know the the day will come when windows 7 will be like windows xp have you heard about the windows xp or have you heard that people are using windows xp because windows xp does not support any latest softwares maybe you want to use the windows 7 for a few more years you can actually get the extended support from the microsoft so you can do the google search for that but i'm just going to show you quickly here that the extended support 
uh, will cost you around $50, maybe $25, okay? So it's up to like what version of Windows 7 you have, professional home or ultimate or something like that, you know? So you can actually get the um, extended support. Uh, if you get the extended support license, that means you will get the security updates and maintenance updates for the Windows 7. But I don't recommend you guys to do that. Even if you like really want to, then you can for one or two years, you can get the extended support license just for one or two years because after that, the other softwares will advance themselves and they will stop supporting the Windows 7. So you, there will be a point when you have to switch to the other operating system. I'm not saying that you have to update to the Windows 10. Maybe you don't like Windows anymore. But you know why people use Windows is because there are so many programs. And there are programs which can be only used in Windows. Okay, so which cannot be used in uh, Linux or Mac. Okay, so that is the only reason why people use Windows operating system. So in that case, you may have to update to the Windows 10. But if you're like, I can be happy with the Linux or Mac OS, then you can switch to that. But yeah, as I said, if you, there is a things only Windows can do, then you have to update to the Windows 10 at some point i'm not saying right now but at some point in future maybe one or two years later and if you're a gamer you know there is no other operating system like windows the windows is the best platform for the gamers they're not gonna switch to the linux or mac os because they suck at gaming there are many more reasons why people use uh, windows operating system because it's awesome but I have seen lots of videos on internet. You know, there are opinions, different opinions of different peoples about Windows. But uh, I'm a guy who, like, I cannot live without Windows because there are so many programs which can only be used in Windows. So, yeah, that's why I cannot switch to the other operating system. For example, Linux. I cannot completely switch to Linux. That's it. Hope you enjoyed more than enjoying hope you understood i tried my best to explain you guys why you should not use windows 7 okay hope you understood and uh, yeah today is a sad day for many windows 7 users because they love windows 7 and you know but the good things won't last forever okay the end is necessary for every thing even for a human being or anything you know if nothing ends then there will be no new start or new evolution so you have to think that way maybe <laughs> i'm getting too deep but that's it i don't want to talk too much but now final thing as i promised in the beginning that you can get the windows 10 for free there are two ways yes actually two ways first is that you can use Windows 7, 8 or 8.1 keys in Windows 10. You can activate Windows 10 using these keys. So this is a how to geek website and this is a well known website. So they have published this uh, post here. Not only this website, there are many websites who have published the same thing. Since I don't have a Windows 7 key, uh, I won't be able to show you guys uh, and I won't be able to prove to you guys. but. Uh, people on the internet are saying that Windows 7 key works on Windows 10. You can activate. So you can read. You can also do the Google search. Do the research before doing anything. So yeah, if you want to switch to the Windows 10, then this is a great chance. As of now, Windows 7 key works on Windows 10. You can activate Windows 10. 10 for free because you have the windows 7 key you can use that and activate so yeah that is the first thing first way to get the windows 10 for free okay all right second one is a little bit tricky and so this is a official website where you can get the windows 10 iso for free which means the entire windows 10 and you can install this windows 10 to your pc without key okay 
So once you install this, you don't have to actually activate the Windows 10 to use. There will be a watermark saying Windows 10 activate now, the watermark at the bottom, just like you see in the screenshot. Other than this watermark, you will not get any notification or, or annoying pop-up saying that activate Windows 10 now. You can freely use Windows 10 without activating. So the watermark will be there, but uh, yeah, but the Windows 10 is truly free to be honest because uh, there were Windows operating system where if you don't activate the Windows, then uh, it will restart the computer every one hour or two hour. Okay, something like that. But that's not the case with the Windows 10. It won't restart. It won't stop you from doing anything in your computer. The only thing it stops is the personalization, which means you won't be able to change the theme of Windows 10. Otherwise, you can do gaming, you can whatever you can imagine in your computer, whatever you want to do. You can do anything. You just have to stick with the watermark. And uh, some people think that if you don't activate Windows 10, you won't get update. That's that's not true. You will still get the Windows 10 updates, latest updates even if you don't have activated your Windows 10. Yep, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you have a Windows 7 or 8 or 8.1 key, then use it on your Windows 10 and activate and have fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you understood why you should not use Windows 7 anymore. And yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.